You know the difference between fire and water? Fire, every candle is doing their own thing. It's beautiful. And the more candles, being, you know, if, if candles are together, they're not candles anymore, right? They're a torch. But each candle is doing their own thing and it looks beautiful. Water is, if every drop of water would do their own thing, I'd never could take it back. How can I, how can I go in the mikveh? I need all those drops to stick together, right? So it's time for fire, time for water. Right now I need a bit of water. Doi 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 ta do Doi 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 do Oh ta do I'm 
I have to tell you something, what I call a crack, you know. I, ha I didn't have the word crack, I call it scissors. Because what did I say? Because it sounds too fancy to me, such good English, Miles. What did I have? Before you said the word oh. crack. A oh, hole, yeah, you're right. A crack is stronger. Okay, Mars, thank you. Oh, a little crackle there. Listen to this. I tell you, I heard it from somebody. This person tells me it was in Auschwitz. Listen, let's, let's have a little water again, okay? He was in Auschwitz for so many years, he didn't cry. Then he says to me that he was one of those illegal ships, ships to Israel. Anyway, the long story, you know, the ship came from Romania, Nebuch, you know, had to make a stop because the water was frozen on the Black Sea. And, you know, they were afraid of the police. Some are, they were fro frozen in by some of a little village. And those li little villages, uh, they've never seen Jews. Never, I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a war. They were, they were out of the whole thing, you know, didn't know anything. And, um, and suddenly there were two women who were pregnant and they needed some sheets, you know. They had nothing. So suddenly, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, a little peasant girl came, and she says that she was saving her whole life some sheets for her dowry, and she brought it to this to this pregnant woman. And he says that he began to cry when he saw that. There's still good people in the world. He didn't know. He didn't believe there's two good people in the world. A little crack, you know. Sometimes there are good people in the world, you know. Sometimes you meet a Yiddel and you think he's completely far from Yiddishkeit. Then he tells you something that's a little sitsis, you know, a little crack. Never know. Never know. Tell you something as far as I'm concerned. There are some people, like Mel said before, Tosha Big Sav. It's a very high thing. Everything is clear. I don't need cracks. If maybe it's clear to me that the world is good, you know. But it's not so deep. Crack is much deeper. And you know what it is? Not when I ha I'm, I'm looking through the crack and I see the same thing. The person sees who is inside or behind the wall who doesn't need the crack. The way I see it, I see it much deeper, much, much deeper. You see, the way we, s the way we will see the word of Mashiach is coming, because we had to look through cracks. It's not the way people were looking, the fortune of the temple, they didn't need any cracks. 
but they obviously they didn't know enough. We know, we know things. You know, imagine if someone doesn't know anything, you learn one, one, one passage in the, in the Torah, you know one word, how much it means to you. And how much the same word means to somebody who knows everything. You know why? Because for you it's a little crack. So much deeper. So much deeper. I have to share something with you which I... I don't know if I told it to you, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. You know, when people walk together in broad daylight, they don't feel close. People walk together at night, very close, it's dark. But imagine if it's so close that they can't even see each other. Oh yeah, they're close. You know, before Mashiach is coming, we are walking together with God on the same road, we don't see each other. At least the way we see it, we don't see God. We think he doesn't see us sometimes. Gewalda we close. I know why I said I said none last week and I was I was in Dachau last week. You know, I was in, I was in Germany, I was in in München, so I thought ready, I'll go to Dachau. It's heartbreaking to go there because it's more than heartbreaking, you know, whatever I'll say. It, so I won't say. But you know, while you were in Dachau and Auschwitz it was clear to you that God doesn't look at you. And it was clear to you he's still walking with you, right? It was clear to you that you can't see God. How can there be a God, right? But it was also clear to you that there is one God. The utmost closeness to God, you know. The utmost closeness. What I want to say is there's two kinds of light in the world. There's a light to see, and there's a light. And the whole light is because you don't see. What a light. What a deep light. And the deeper steps when those two lights meet when the light of absolute seeing and absolutely not seeing get together, this little crack, you know, a little crack, utmost of both. Imagine, I'll tell you on a, on a, on a, on a simple level, imagine I would be in the same room with somebody I love very much. And it looks to me like they don't love me and they think I don't love them, right? Okay, we're very close, we're not close. Then suddenly, this person will say, I have a little gift for you. It's a crack, right? But it's so deep because, just so deep. I want to share something else with you. Someone asked me, why is it that before the Mashiach is coming, since the destruction of the temple, prophecy is only given to people who are crazy or to children? You know why? Very simple. Because prophecy is something, if a person's is, is mind is, is like developed, just can't, can't believe it, right? Because your mind is blocking it off, right? How can I, Mamish, see with prophetic eyes that Mashiach is coming when my mind tells me it's crazy because look at the world, right? It's only children and crazy people, their mind doesn't block it, right? But imagine 
before Mashiach is coming, every person by sound mind knows it just can't be like this anymore, right? Right now, it's on the other way around. You know, the country, if you are, if you are a sound of mind, you are looking for this prophecy. So right now, before Mashiach is coming, like you see on the country, the prophecy is getting back. Not only to children, everybody. Unless their mind is not real, you know. Un unless the way most people are, their mind is perverted, not developed. On the country, you know, pervertedly developed. In a crazy way, you know. But if your mind is clear, how can you not, you know. How long can this go on, you know. Strange, you know. I have to tell you one more thing, that the spies, you know, they thought, they stood on Mount Sinai. So they thought, you know, it was so high, right? They thought, oh no, we're going over the border, Israel, <laughs> got to be the highest thing in the world. You know, we'll fly high like mad. They weren't. It was the lowest, creepiest days of their lives. Because the difference between the Holy Land and Mount Sinai is very simple. Mount Sinai you just received from heaven. In Israel you have to work hard like a dog. Hard like a dog. You want to feel something, you better work for it. You want to be high, you better get high on your own, you know. You know, a lot of people would like to keep Shabbos, but they want the moment you bench licht, you're flying high. But you don't. It's not a little, have a little sniffle or a smoke color, you know, and you get off high. Shabbos.